kids, Miss Booksy here for Storytime at Cool School. It's time to read Chapter 8 of The Little Mermaid. At the end of Chapter 7, Dolph and the Little Mermaid's dad had just arrived at the Royal Ball as humans. Let's see what happens next. Dolph and the Sea King, I mean Prince Dolphery and the King of Sea Town, had just arrived and everyone was very happy to welcome the new guests to the Royal Ball. The Little Mermaid, of course, was a little suspicious. Right? I mean, why are they here? To take me back to sea? I can't just leave. And how did they get feet? They must have made a deal with the sea witch. That can't be good. We're all doomed. And look at Dolph, laughing it up with Esmeralda like they've known each other for years. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Ahem, Dolph, what happened to the rescue mission? I'm on it. I'll distract Esmeralda so the Little Mermaid can fall in love with the prince. Then the spell will be broken. But then she'll be a human forever, Dolph! Oh, right. We have to make her fall out of love. So the two of them hatched a plan to make the Little Mermaid fall out of love. They put marbles on the dance floor to make them look clumsy. But the Little Mermaid just thought it was a cool new dance and joined in. They released helium out of party balloons to make his voice all squeaky. Would you like a glass of punch? Whoa, what's up with my voice? But the Little Mermaid thought the prince was just being so hilarious. I thought that would work. Me too! The Sea King and Dolph even shaved a skunk stripe in his hair when he wasn't looking. Huh? But the Little Mermaid didn't think it was a weird haircut or anything. She thought he looked really cool. I don't get it. No matter what we do, she just likes him more. Ugh! Who could like a human? I don't know. They're not so bad. Like, take Esmeralda. She's pretty cool. Not you, too! What? I just think she's neat. Actually, I'm gonna go see what she's up to right now. Dolph! I don't know. She might need some punch or something. The Sea King didn't know what to do. His plan was failing. His daughter had a mega crush on a human, and it seems like there was nothing he could do to change her mind. Pretty soon, the Sea Witch would win and gain control of his entire Sea Kingdom. He and Dolph would be useless jellyfish, and the Little Mermaid would be a sea urchin. Suddenly, the Sea King had an idea. Of course! Why didn't I think of this before? I'll just tell everyone that my daughter's a mermaid. The royal family would never let their son marry a mermaid. Excuse me, I have an announcement. Oh no. I just wanted to say it's so refreshing to see how nice you are to this mermaid. Mermaid? Mermaid? Who's a mermaid? Where? Right there. You're a mermaid? My mermaid, you saved me! He's obviously joking, Jeffrey. Yeah, don't be silly. Of course it's a joke, I knew that. <laughs> no, it's true! She's a mermaid, and the sea witch gave her feet. The sea witch? This guy's hilarious. I mean... Right? Who ever heard of a sea witch? <laughs> oh no! What's going on? A uh, long story. Oh no, kids! What is the sea witch gonna do? I wonder what will happen in chapter 9. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Hit subscribe so you don't miss the next chapters of The Little Mermaid coming soon. <laughs> okay, bye kids! See ya!